Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is x minus 3 to the power of 4. This is equal to 5 to the power of 4. So what are the values of x? So we have x minus 3 to the power of 4. This is equal to 5 to the power of 4. So let's take 5 to the power of 4 on the left hand side so that now we have x minus 3 to the power of 4 subtract 5 to the power of 4. This is equal to 0. We can express x minus 3 to the power of 4 as x minus 3 raised to the power of 2. Everything here raised to the power of 2. Subtract 5 to the power of 4, which you can express as 5 squared raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. This equation is in the form of a squared minus b squared which is actually the difference of two perfect squares, which you can express as a plus b, a minus b. From this equation, we have that a is equal to x minus 3 raised to power 2. b is equal to 5 to the power of 2. So this implies that a plus b, this is equal to x minus 3 to the power of 2, then plus 5 to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 1. We have that a minus b, this is the same thing as x minus 3 to the power of 2, subtract 5 to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 2. So let's start with equation 1, which in this case is case 1. Therefore, we have x minus 3 to the power of 2 plus 5 to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. Now, x minus 3 to the power of 2 plus 5 to the power of 2. This is in the form of a. Now, in case 1 here, we have x minus 3 raised to the power of 2 plus 5 squared. This is equal to 0. x minus 3 to the power of 2. This is in the form of a minus b raised to the power of 2, which we can express as a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. Applying this algebraic identity, then from here we have x squared plus minus 3 squared, which is 9, minus 2 times x times 3, then plus 5 squared, which is 25. This is equal to 0. Now here we have x squared plus 9, then minus, this is 6x, then plus 25, this is equal to 0. The next step from here, we have x to the power of 2 minus 6x, then we have 9 plus 25, this is equal to 34, this is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, this is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 6, and c is equal to 34. So let's apply the quadratic formula from here to solve for x1 and x2. Quadratic formula here, we have minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, everything here divided by 2 times a. Let's substitute the values of a, b, and c from here so that we have minus minus 6 plus or minus the square root of b squared. This is minus 6 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, then times c, which is 34. Everything here divided by 2 times 1. The next step from here, minus times minus 6, this is 6, plus or minus the square root of minus 6 squared, this is 36. Now subtract, we have 4 times 34. Now 4 times 4 here, this is 16, carry 1. Then 4 times 3, this is 12, plus 1, this is 136. Then everything here divided by 2. So we have here 6 plus or minus 
the square root of 36 minus 1, that's 36, which is minus 100, divided by 2. So from here, we have 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 100. This can be expressed as 100 times minus 1 over 2. So here we have 6 plus or minus the square root of 100. This is equal to 10. Then the square root of minus 1. This is i. Then everything here divided by 2. So now from here, we have that we can factor out 2. 2 is common here. So that we have 2 into the parentheses. This is 3 plus or minus 5i. Everything here divided by 2. So if you simplify here, this implies that x1, comma x2, this is equal to 3 plus or minus 5i. So in this case, from case 1, we have two complex solutions. We have two complex solutions. So let's proceed to case 2 from here. In case 2 here, we have x minus 3 to the power of 2 minus 5 squared. This is equal to 0. x minus 3 raised to the power 2. This is in the form of a minus b raised to the power 2, which we can express as a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. So let's apply this algebraic identity from here. So that now here we have x squared plus 9. Then subtract 6x. Then minus 5 squared, which is equal to 25. This is equal to 0. Now we have x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 25. This is equal to 0. The next step from here, we have x to the power of 2 minus 6x. Then 9 minus 25. This is minus 16. This is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, we have that a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 6, and c is equal to minus 16. To solve for x3, comma x4, we apply the quadratic formula, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything here divided by 2 times a. Let's substitute the values of a, b, and c from here, so that now here we have minus minus 6 plus or minus the square root of b squared, this is minus 6 squared minus 4 times a which is 1, then times c which is minus 16, everything here divided by 2 times 1. So here we have minus minus 6, this is equal to 6, plus or minus the square root of minus 6 squared, this is 36, then minus 4 times minus 16, this is plus 64, everything here divided by 2. So here we have 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 plus 64, this is 100. Everything here divided by 2. So now here we have 6 plus or minus the square root of 100. This is 10 divided by 2. So the next step from here, we can factor out 2 so that we have 2 into the parentheses. Here we have 3 plus or minus 5. Cross the bracket, everything divided by 2. So the next step is to simplify. We can simplify 2 here and this 2, so that now, here we have 3 plus or minus 5. So this implies that x3, this is equal to 3 plus 5 divided by 2. So that now, here we have 
3 plus 5, this is 8, divided by 2. And therefore, from here, we have that x3 is equal to 4. x3 is equal to 4. Now, let's solve for x4. x4, this is equal to 3 minus 5, divided by 2. So in this case, we have 3 minus 5. This is minus 2 over 2. So let's simplify here. We have that x4 is equal to minus 1. So this is the value of x4. So we have x3 equal to 4. And we have that x4 is equal to minus 1. So we have two real solutions here and two complex solutions for this algebra problem. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. Can you like this video and subscribe? See you in the next video.